Not only can you use the lofted boss base option with sketches, but you can also use edges and faces as well. So if I come into the lofted boss base command, I could choose out these two faces, for example. I can also choose out any closed loop edge as well, and those will line up. And pretty much any two faces I choose or sets of edges I choose will try to find a way to line up. So especially when working with faces, the start end constraints come into play quite a bit. If I want to have a smooth transition between these profiles, I have several options. The first of which is choosing a direction vector. And you also want to keep in mind with this which one's the first selection, which one's the second. So I'm going to start with the end constraint, which is the square face. So I could choose a direction vector if I wanted, which just requires choosing out a linear edge. We can see that this line's normal, so it's essentially the same as normal to profile. And the other edge selection is parallel, so it won't work in this case. But if we had another direction vector, we could choose that out. Once again, I can also choose normal to profile. And this controls the strength of that transition, or the length of that transition. And we can also choose an angle, which is going to taper this in or out, depending on how we change that angle. We also have a tangency to face option, which will make all of these sides, sides tangent. And there's a next face option. In this case, it's not going to apply. And to show how that next face option works, I'll just go ahead and use the bottom profile. So the next face will switch from this top to the side. So you can see how that changes these options. It's a little bit easier to see with the curvature to face. You can see that we can either have this follow the curvature of the outside face or follow the flat face on the top. And once again, we can control the strength of that pull. 